Today, I'm going to share with you seven unique quiet time slash Bible study ideas. I think these are going to be helpful for you, so stick with me. What's up, guys? It's Isaac, and this is The Daily Disciple, where I help you follow Jesus daily. As I said, we're going to be talking about Bible study slash quiet time ideas. And uh, as I was thinking and brainstorming about <clears throat> this, I, <laughs> brainstorming um, up this video, I, uh, I was thinking, you know, Usually for some of us, I don't know how long you've been a Christian, if you are a Christian. Um, for me, I, I was be really passionate about my faith starting around 13. I think I was a Christian from when I was around seven, but it, was, it wasn't until 13 that I got serious about it and, um, you know, started doing Bible study and quiet time and that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, sometimes it can just get stale, honestly. Like we, we can get into the same routine and that can be okay but it can just become like dry and lifeless. And, and that's not the way it should be. This is God's word to us and communicating with God in prayer. Like these are called spiritual disciplines. So they are, it's hard sometimes, but it doesn't mean they should always be bad and tough and stale and lifeless. No, no, that's not what God would have for us at all. So I think by inserting some variety into our schedule, we can bring breathe new life into this practice so let's talk about it the first idea is what i'm calling stream of consciousness journaling or unguided journaling it's just the idea of sitting down reading a passage of scripture opening up some sort of journal or just a piece of paper or whatever and just writing whatever is coming to your mind get it all out there there's no qualification or vetting process in terms of what you should be putting down it's just whatever you're thinking and what i found when i do this is that it actually allows me to really uncover some of the thoughts, feelings, and questions that have kind of been lingering around my head, but haven't really come to the forefront. So by reading the passage of scripture, letting that, you know, reverberate in your heart, and then going down and just putting it down on paper, I found that to be so helpful and really gives a tangible release to what I'm experiencing and just letting go of whatever it is, whether it's anxiety or, or questions or, or whatever it is, just letting go and giving those things to God. Second idea is grabbing a commentary. For me, it is a digital commentary. I go to the Matthew Henry commentary. That's my go-to. Um, it's free online. And what I've found honestly is when I'm reading a passage of scripture, there are many times when I'm like, what, what's that about? What's going on there? And it's nice to be able to just go to my buddy, Matthew Henry, and see what he's got to say about it and help, uh, you know, really dig into what the passage is actually saying. Third idea is one verse at a time. What I've found is that sometimes when we get so consumed over, um, we get so consumed over uh, quantity versus quality of our quiet time. So you get into the scripture and you're like, I'm just going to blow through like a whole book. And that can be good sometimes. Like I'm not dogging on that. That's awesome. But sometimes you want to just take it slow and really meditate on each verse. So that's why we go one verse at a time. You're going to go read one verse from a, a passage, right? One verse and pray about it. Pray through it. Um, ask God to, to show you and, and teach you the true meaning of what that's trying to say to you and what he's trying to say to you um, and meditate on that because in the Bible we're, we're called to meditate on his scripture. So one verse, pray through it a couple minutes, read another verse and do the same thing till the end of the passage. I found it to be really helpful. Idea number four, and this might be a little bit of a stretch for some of you introverts out there. I know I'm a little bit of an, well, a lot bit of an introvert, but uh, the fourth idea is to grab a friend, whether on Zoom or in person, inviting a friend into your quiet time or Bible study can be really helpful. Um, it provides both accountability and community. So accountability in that, you know, sometimes in, in our day, we can kind of push off our quiet time, Bible study, prayer, and all that, just because we're like, uh, I feel too busy, which is misordered, disordered affections, because it is the most important thing. But if it's just us, um, then we can fall into that trap. But if it's another person, look, they're going to keep us accountable because, hey, look, we got to meet up at this time to talk about the scripture or we got to, you know, video chat over this time to, to, to read through the scripture together or pray together. That can be so helpful. So uh, both accountability and community, invite a friend into it. I know it can be scary sometimes, but if it's somebody that you can trust, 
I think that can be great to open up, be vulnerable with that person. And uh, I think you'll get a lot more from your quiet time. Idea number five is capturing questions. Um, I, I found that generally when I am reading the scripture, there'll be at least, you know, two to three questions that I'm, that are, you know, really coming to the surface as I'm reading this. And uh, sometimes, you know, we'll just skim over it and just, ah, you know, it doesn't really matter. Who cares? Just keep reading. Um, but if you put those down, all those questions, soon you'll have a nice list of all this stuff that, you, that, you know, it'd be nice to find answers for. And as you're doing that, I think that you're engaging more with the scripture because now you're not afraid of, of discovering things that you aren't sure about actually you're kind of excited about it because that gives you new opportunity to learn the sixth idea is honestly my favorite and i think it's pretty unique not a lot of people do it but before i get to it um i just want to give a huge shout out to everyone on patreon that supports me and daily disciple ministry on patreon as a club member um it's truly because of you guys that i'm able to do this my goal is to get to 50 patrons this year right now we're at 23 it's five dollars a month and if you know you were able to support me that would be so amazing we put out so much content throughout the week on instagram TikTok, youtube uh, sharing the gospel with people helping people follow jesus daily and if that seems like a mission you want to get behind please head on over to dailydisciple.ca slash club and join our club on patreon thanks so much and now on to the sixth idea. The world is a noisy place. Um, I think I'm gonna make a video called uh, the idolatry of busyness because honestly we can get ourselves so busy and consumed with noise and just things that actually don't add a lot to our lives. So the sixth idea is silent prayer. Uh, and, I, and I recommend you do this after this video ends is literally just turn off your phone, um, set your timer for 10 minutes. That's what I say for, you know, starting out just 10 minutes of just silence, listening to God, you know, clearing your, your mind of, of all the, you know, just the noise of the world and, and meditating on who God is and just listening to God. That's my favorite thing to do. Um, I don't do it enough. But honestly, think about this. If you can make that a daily practice of 10 minutes, just focusing on who God is, reorient your, reorienting your heart towards him, how could that change your entire day? Because look, even when I do that for two to three minutes, that changes my mindset for the next like three to four hours, and then I do it again. So just think about it. Just like try to hone into that, set an alarm on your, your, your phone, and just silence, listen to God. Reorient, reorient your heart towards him. The seventh idea is who God is, what has he done, who am I, what is my response? Those are four questions to ask as you're looking through scripture. Um, it's it's pretty easy, right? Like it's not, it's not super complex. You're just pulling out, okay, who is God? What does this mean about God, about his character? What does this say about him, what I'm reading in this passage right now? And then what does God do in this passage, right? Is he loving? Is he is he just? Or does he demonstrate his his mercy here? What like what is he demonstrating? And then what does that say about me, right? It says that I am a, you know, I'm a child of God. My identity is in him or that I am a sinner in need of his grace. And then it's and then it's asking the question, okay, what is my response then based on the passage you're reading? Maybe it's renewed faith. Maybe it is repentance maybe it is uh, a, a renewed obedience to god or or uh, sharing your faith being a light to the world these are the four questions that you should be asking i think they're super helpful and so what i would say is you have all these different ideas these seven different concepts of what quiet time could look like my recommendation to you is spend a week try all seven of them and then the next week um, mix and match, Can, you, you know, customize it to what you, you like. Maybe it has some unguided journaling in it where you're just getting out all your thoughts and maybe you're adding your questions to that as well as you're reading the scripture or you're doing some, uh, just some silent prayer and then you're going to the Bible and then you're reading a verse and you're praying and then you're reading a verse and then you're praying. The amazing thing about this guys is that there's no specific way we're supposed to, you know, do this. You read for 15 minutes every single day in the John 3:16. Like that's not 
it. That's not it, right? We can customize it and, and just have some variety in it and breathe new life into this thing because look, you shouldn't be, every day you shouldn't just be like, ah oh, man, I gotta go to the Bible. If that's the case, we gotta mix things up because this thing, this is life, man. This is life and, and this is God's word to us. So let's not deny it. Let's not, um, you know, avoid praying to God, or filling our lives up with things that don't matter. Let's focus on these awesome spiritual disciplines that will help us grow and follow Jesus daily. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like down below and subscribe because I'm putting out new videos all the time. Once again, if you want to support me, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple and um, yeah, become a club member. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. I hope you guys have a great week and remember to try out some of these quiet time ideas. See you later.